Did you know that the US Army gave chocolate to their soldiers to give them more energy and nutrition? I chose nutrition and starvation because I wanted to know how well the prisoners of war ate, if they ate at all. Let's listen and see what some survivors of the Holocaust have to say about not eating much. Says that we didn't have no rationing. And besides, it was misunderstood it was rationed in our family. Like, like it was taken out a piece of bread, every child got a little piece. That's for you. You have to, you have to go with this a whole day till next day. Did you have to wear a The father rationed it. The mother, the family was rationing this bread. And he cooked, uh, he tried to get some grain. He cooked grain. The hunger was very bad. I mean, we were going very, we lost weight. There's nothing to talk about. You can see them. I have any pictures left there. You'll see how it looked like that. that this was the very beginning. And it was a very tough, cold, hot, hunger winter. We have been given little pieces of bread by the family that my father gave, gave everybody a race. There have been many people that didn't have what to exchange didn't have what to give and they they died like like flies they died. my brother was home he was my brother was always uh, very uh, sensitive uh, fragile and he developed in belgium he, he got sick he became he had a, something with a gland and this was from undernourishment we didn't have but you know we were eating but we did not get the right food in the beginning I was always sturdy, I was always, always a rough technical. And uh, so he was more the guarded one by my mother. He was home and uh, we were all busy. We had later on a nice uh, little apartment where we had already uh, a room for us and, and uh, in the street with regular apartments. I ever adjust to the life in this cell, but I did. And when there is no food, I think your stomach starts to shrink and everything adjusts. I don't think too many people really died of hunger. Well, maybe this is something that people really never had anything. My father had hunger. He blew up this month because all my father had was beans, and he ate beans, and that seems to be very bad for your system and you blow up and it was like that not from health but it was a sickness it was like a little michelin man you know from all the level man it was awful but it was by the way were you in contact with your father yeah and brother and sister not much with my, my not much with my brother i don't even know my brother i think he went to finland the detainees considered unfit for work were ordered to take showers before going into Auschwitz. The bathhouses they walked into were actually gas chambers filled with Zycalon B poison gas. For the prisoners who initially escaped the gas chambers, an undetermined number died from overwork, disease, inefficient nutrition, or the daily struggle for survival in brutal living conditions. The Arbitrary executions, torture, and retribution happen daily in front of the other prisoners. At Auschwitz alone, more than 2 million people were murdered in a process re resembling a large-scale industrial operation. A large population of Jewish and non-Jewish inmates worked in the labor camp there, on though only the Jews were gassed. Thousands of others died of starvation or disease. During the summer of 1944, even as the events of D-Day and Soviet offensive the same month spelled the beginning of the end for Germany in the war, a large portion of Hungary's Jewish population was deported to Auschwitz, and as many as 2,000 Jews were killed every day. The U.S. Army approached the Hershey Chocolate Company to create a chocolate bar that had to wait four months be high in energy stand high temperatures and taste a little bit better than a boiled potato. The final product was called the deration bar. The viscous mixture was too thick to move through the normal chocolate bar manufacturing setup, so initially each bar had to be packed into its mold by hand. When dealing with Soviet prisoners of war at Auschwitz camp, 
Commandant Rudolf Hose and his assistants experimented with the means of killing that has since become the symbol of Nazi genocide, Zykalon B. In early September 1941, 600 Soviet prisoners of war were selected for execution. Haas decided to gas them with Zykalon B, also known as hydrogen cyanide in the Auschwitz first gas chamber. The experimental gassing here also included 250 inmates who had been designated unfit for work. The Nazis had already experimented with gassing on as the means to kill people as they considered disabling beginning in October 1939. A method was thereby found that would kill millions of people with minimal effort. Those lessons were subsequently applied to the first Soviet prisoners of war and then to Jews. By February 1942, 2 million of the 3 million 300,000 Soviet soldiers in the German custody up to that point had died from starvation, exposure, disease, or shooting. So, in conclusion, there were uh, millions of prisoners of war who died from starvation. The survivors of the Holocaust were put through very hard times and are so lucky to be alive. The Allied forces that liberated the concentration camps were so brave. Thank you for watching.